I just want to speak to you about our visit to Robben Island, an experience I'll never forget. Located off the coast of South Africa, from the 1960s through the 1990s, this island housed a maximum security prison. Many of the prisoners there were activists who worked to bring down apartheid, the South African government's policies that discriminated against people of color. Among those imprisoned at Robben Island were three men who went on to become president of South Africa, including Nelson Mandela and the current president, Jacob Zuma. So as we toured the island, I couldn't help but think about how this place must have shaped these leaders. We saw the rock quarry, where they spent their days doing backbreaking work in the blinding sun, and the tiny cells where they spent their nights. It was amazing to see Mandela's cell, a tiny room about six feet wide, where he spent 18 of the 27 years he was in prison. He slept on a thin mat on the floor, and when he stretched out to sleep at night, his toes touched one wall while his head grazed the other. Yet despite these conditions, Mandela and his fellow prisoners never lost hope. As Mandela once said, prison, far from breaking our spirits, made us more determined to continue with this battle until victory was won. So when these prisoners were finally released, their spirits were far from broken. Mandela went on to lead the movement to end apartheid and set up a new democratic government. He won a Nobel Peace Prize and became South Africa's first black president. While very few of us will ever encounter the kind of discrimination and brutality that Nelson Mandela endured, all of us can learn important lessons from his struggle. We can learn about the importance of standing up for what you believe in, no matter what the cost. We can learn about how, with self-discipline and courage, we can overcome the most unthinkable hardships. And we can learn about the power of forgiveness, to turn enemies into friends, and to help us move forward from a troubled past to a more hopeful future.